Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Dumpy New Year Hope. I provide audio coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details www.dateme.tips Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast and today we are discussing Dumpy New Year Hope. So if you have been dumped then the start of a new year can seem frightening. Your ex seems to be starting a new life without you and you feel confused, upset and without direction. In today's podcast, I'm going to give three reasons why this new year brings hope to dumpies. So let's get straight into this. And number one is your ex likely thought of you recently. So if you want to try to get your ex back, then there is a fear that this new year represents a fresh start for your dumper and one in which you aren't being thought of. However, there is an increased chance that your ex thought of you very recently indeed and this represents a possibility of them regrowing romantic emotional attraction for you. Christmas Day and New Year's Eve are days of the year that have lots of triggers and self-reflection moments. This means your ex likely thought of you over the last few days and weeks, increasing the chance of intrigue being grown. So when trying to get an ex back, it's important to think back to the relationship itself and understand that when two people are in a loving relationship, they are both feeling a high level of romantic emotional attraction for one another. At the time of a breakup, unfortunately, one or both people have lost romantic emotional attraction. And when this attraction hits the necessary low point, this is when somebody will likely action a breakup and become a dumper. The only reason somebody will then reach out to their dumpee is if and when the romantic emotional attraction level hits the necessary high point. Attraction needs to be regrown and this can happen via triggers and via self-reflection, which as I've said, are things which likely happen during Christmas time and over the New Year period. So as you can see, there is this possibility that your ex dumper has been thinking about you and this can grow intrigue, this can grow romantic emotional attraction and this will heighten the possibility of them one day reaching out to you in the future. Now you might be thinking, well, if they've been thinking about me and if this is something which might make them reach out to me one day, why didn't they reach out to me on Christmas Day? Why didn't they reach out to me on New Year's Eve? Well, the situation is as followed. They will only reach out to you if and when the attraction level has hit the necessary high point. So even though they may have grown attraction, even though they may have grown intrigue, if it hasn't hit the necessary point, this will not mean that they will reach out to you because they won't reach out to you unless they hit the necessary high point. But what it will show is the slow trickle of intrigue and attraction being grown. If you imagine a petrol gauge in a car, a gas gauge, when you're on low fuel, this showcases low levels of attraction in this analogy. If you go to the petrol station, if you go to get some fuel, if you go to the gas station, this is where you will fill up somewhat. And this is where the intrigue starts to build in our analogy. Christmas, New Year, they showcase opportunities of self-reflection and of triggers. And this is where you'll be refueling this level of attraction in your ex's mind. Now, it might not hit the high point. It might not be full. And until it is full, this is unlikely to create a scenario where they will reach out but what it does do is it puts you a little bit closer to the point of where they might reach out so even though you haven't heard from your ex over Christmas or over New Year this might mean you are a step closer to hearing from them because this attraction in their mind has got higher so there is less needed to be grown between now and when they do reach out to you. Now, of course, it's important to say there is no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back. And not every dumper will reach the necessary high point of attraction and intrigue to reach out to their dumpee. 
But in most instances, if a dumpy does everything right, then their ex, the dumper, will at some stage hit this point where they at least reach out to their dumpy, and the communication stage will then take place and dictate what happens moving forward from there. So even though you haven't heard from your ex over Christmas and New Year, you might be a step closer to hearing from your dumper in February, March, April, May or June. You never know what the future holds and you could be one step closer to hearing from your ex again. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast about dumpy New Year hope. And point number two is improvements can be easier in January. So because New Year's resolutions are popular and people are more likely to encourage and support each other, January represents the best month to start becoming a version 2.0 of yourself. If you become a better person today than you were yesterday and a better person tomorrow than you are currently today, then this will help increase the chance of attracting someone new or reattracting your ex. So if you're a dumpy, you won't necessarily want to get your ex back. You might want to push forward and meet somebody new and this will increase the chance of you attracting somebody that you have not yet met yet. You might meet somebody in the near future and the improvements you have made would have grown your attraction net and enabled you to attract them whereas the previous version of you may not have been able to attract them you know that is the situation if you improve you grow your attraction net now if you do want to get your ex back this will help you as well because you need to be a better person than they remember you need to understand that you attracted your ex as a version one of yourself and if you can become a version 2.0 you will show yourself as somebody if and when your ex contacts you you will be somebody who they think wow you know you'll be wowing them not not only have they reached out to you because the intrigue has grown, but you'll be wowing them because you have improved. It's so important that you become a better person every single day, making small improvements and finding the motivation to do so. If you would like additional motivational support, then you might want to consider joining my motivation club here on my YouTube channel. There are more than 100 short motivational boost videos which members can listen to via my community tab. So if you want to join my Motivation Club for a small monthly fee, you will find all of the information on my YouTube channel. And if and when you join and become a member of Motivation Club, click my community tab and you will have access to all of the past videos where you can listen to these short motivational boosts. And like I've said, there's more than 100 videos on Motivation Club right now. And I am increasing that library further. Join Motivation Club today and give yourself that boost to move forward through January and the rest of the year in a positive way. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about dumpy New Year hope. And point number three is you have now passed two of the most difficult days. So if you're a dumpy, you know, you've been dumped, you've gone through hell on earth, you are feeling a combination of feelings such as grief and drug withdrawal. These feelings are painful, they give you anguish and you feel like you can't move forward with any positivity. But let me tell you, two of the most difficult days that you'll have to encounter have now passed. Christmas Day and New Year's Eve aren't just times that your ex dumper may think of you, they are also times where you as Badumpy are likely to think of your ex as well, even more so than you probably do already. And you might be thinking, well, look, I think of my dumper 24-7. But look, you know, even if you're saying that right now, trust me, if you think back to Christmas, if you think back to New Year's Eve, I'm pretty sure you thought of them even more then than you are now. These days are trigger days, as I said earlier on in today's podcast, and they affect you just as they can affect your dumper. But this is important for you to remember because you're going through this hellish period on earth right now where you're really, really struggling. But look, you've gone through these most difficult days. Christmas, New Year's Eve, two of the most difficult days. Of course, there's going to be more days, birthdays, special days of the year for you and your ex. But two of these powerful days, two of these days full of anguish for you have gone. 
and therefore you can move forward through the rest of the year feeling a little bit better that you don't have to go through those again for the first time. The first time you go through such an experience is always the worst and Christmas and New Year's Eve have gone, they finish, you've moved forward. The sunrise will always follow the sunset so if you're feeling really bleak, if you're feeling really dark, just understand that the sun will rise again for you in your mindset and in your life you will feel happiness again. I always say you can't get your ex back 100% of the time. There's no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back. But if you do everything right, then it is win-win because you will either get your ex back or you'll find somebody even better. But if you live a positive life, if you become a version 2.0 of yourself, you will grow your attraction net and you will feel happiness again. This new year represents an opportunity for you to live the best year of your life. This can be the best year you have ever lived of your life and we're at the beginning of it right now. Imagine what you can do by the end of this year. The possibilities are endless for you. So let's move forward in a way where you will either get your ex back or find somebody better by improving every single day, living life to the full, making new connections and being a better person. Life can be challenging, but the past does not dictate the future. The way you feel now is not the way you will feel tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. Feelings change, feelings evolve, and you will feel happiness again. Please always remember to speak with your friends and family. If you feel depressed, contact a local doctor and they will support you. And if you would like my support, then you might want to consider my audio coaching service that you can find more details of on my website, www.dateme.tips. With or without your ex, you will have a positive future. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get them back. Or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah. Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight. Bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice. Helping with your love life. Get your ex back or move to the next. Ain't no sweat. You know Vincent Bo got you. Finding love ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips. Check it out now. Thank you.